Hearts Heroes, Cupid's Chokehold, good song. It's always good songs on this radio station. Yes. Very good. Very good. Um, never play a bad song on this radio station. No, no. All good. Tara's on the video camera. Hello. Good morning, Tara. It's kicking all day, actually, the music. I have to Kick it up. It is. It's Kick it. kicking out some good tunes. Kicking out some good tunes <laughs> on the radio right here. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, don't forget that we've got our Argos competition, £200. I know. You can wonderful. win. That is Two. fabulous. It's a great price. Isn't it? Really fabulous. £200 to spend at the brand new Argos on the uh, Bath Road Retail Park. You can be there with your £200 vouchers to spend on whatever you like in Argos. Uh, fabulous. £200. Do they do those wee-wee things in Argos? What on earth? Oh, do you mean a Nintendo Wii? Yes. yes. Yes, they do. And how much are they? They're about £178. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So you can get one of those. Yes. Uh, so if you want to play, you text the word Argos, followed by your name to 07957 641066. Yes. There well you done, go. Jane. Thank yeah. you. Do that now. We could be calling you in about 35 minutes time. Uh, before that, we've also got to ring someone up very soon in about 5-10 minutes time to yes. tell them the good news yes. that they're into the final to win the car. Yes. We're giving away a car. We just keep giving. Yes. Good luck. And get, get it stuck. stuck. Yes. Absolutely. Um, all right, we've got to move on. In the next hour, by the way, uh, we, we're going to ring someone up. Yes. Who, who is it we're going to ring up on we're the BBL? We're ringing Glyn from Big Brother 7. We're ringing Glyn <gasps> from Big Brother 7. Yay, we're looking forward to that. Boy. Let's do this now, though. Do you know what? People watching our video, which is uh, Tara's in the room now on the video camera, people watching, hundreds of people are starting to watch this every day now. That's brilliant. Brilliant. That's I'm fun. not sure if it's, 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 it's so much about the Big Brother. It could be about the Big Brother thing, or it could be because Tara and I just <laughs> just mucking about. In the yeah. I'm not sure. It could be because we're all stunning. Could be because we're all beautiful in the room. Yes, yes. and we've got the bazookas going on. Well, you have, and Susie certainly has, <laughs> although she's covered up a little this morning. Yeah. The hair's coming. Banging out, all right, I'm telling you now. It's behaving like a Enormous. Okay, I missed it last night. I missed it. Funny that. You missed a goodie last night. What happened then, Susie Verico? It was good last night. It was rocking, so it was. Actually, it was my favourite show of the whole sort of series. It really was good. I think the psychologists really knew what they were doing. Basically, they had a lie detector test and they involved everybody that was other good. the gurus and it was fantastic mm. because it just seemed to put the cat amongst the pigeons and get them rowing yes. I mean I, I just I just couldn't believe it how Tracy really started Carol started Jerry is oh, having Jerry. histrionics he can't believe it I love Jerry because they caught him out on some of his lies it, mm. absolutely fantastic he was just honest though and honestly he the best was policy. honest he was honest I loved Jerry last night because mm. he stood up to Carol and Tracy, just mm. wouldn't put up with any more of their cheek. That's and I right. Thought, Fantastic on I you. know the truth hurts, but honesty is the best policy, and That's you know right. where you stand with everybody. Because you know Tracy can be a bit of a bully, and Carol definitely is a bully. And I thought, go for it, yes. Jerry. You just don't let those two have. Yes, yeah, so I've got all that on my notes, funny that what enough. You've got on your notes? They all pick on <laughs> Jerry. Why? And he's a very open person. He likes to stick up for himself. They've read Jerry all wrong. I and when like anyone's Jerry. ever upset Jerry's always there to console them, I have to say that. But do you know one of the one of the questions on the lie detector, they actually asked Jerry, they said, would you um, betray a housemate to win the hundred thousand mm. pounds? And he said yes, and the other said, Oh, that's terrible. Oh, nice. But they would all do it. Eugene did it two years ago, didn't he? When he took for the fifty thousand to half yeah. the prize money. And so was I fifty grand, love. <laughs> Crikey! Mm. Wouldn't everybody for the hundred thousand? I'd certainly betray you, Susie. Exactly. Oh so, yes, yes, yes. There we yes. are. But they all decided to be terribly nice about it. Oh, I like the, the way that Liam confronted Carol. Yes, that was a good one. What did he say to her? He came out of the caravan because Tracy, the little sneak, yes, is listening to things in, in the in the big house. Then she's going in the caravan. She goes running in there. Ooh. Yeah. Mixing it. And basically, Liam said, I'm going to confront Carol about these tea bags and everything else. And he said, I don't want to upset you, Carol. He said, but you're hiding the tea bags in, the, you know, we go and open the little jar. There's no tea bags and you've put them up into the cupboard. And there's little things that you do do, Carol. You know, it's everybody's food at the end <coughs> of the day. 
and basically it's correct. Everybody's in there to eat their own food and it's not Carol's bran flakes. Jerry can have a bowl of yes, he can. Bran, flakes bran flakes with his paracetamol. Yes, that's right, because he's Tommy. <laughs> exactly. Got a clip here. Uh, th there was a bit of a quiz going on, a BB-8 quiz, and I think Jerry's asking some questions and uh, we're finding out who knows what's happening with BB-8. So let's listen in, shall we? <laughs> yes. Okay. Who was dressed in a golden lamb dress with the mark, the back exposed? Charlie! No! Oh, yeah, it was, uh, it was Chanel. Chanel. It was Chanel! Chanel. 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 <laughs> Who massacred Jerry's hair? Let me hear it! I said Chanel! I said Chanel! Two points! Jerry. Who did the most pouting in the house? Chanel! 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 No, Chanel! Chanel! Chanel stayed longer, so I have to admit this is the both right. Sabnam did most per day she stayed here, but Chanel, because she stayed longer, had that, so they get both one. Yeah. Okay. Who was the oldest member of the household? She said it first. Just say the name. There we go, we've got some more from that gripping quiz in the next clip, <laughs> if we get time in the next hour of our BB update. So oh. do you want to uh, close in, in summary now in wrapping up this little section on the video as well? Brian. Brian. Saying that Carol's the kitchen police. I know, I love Oh, it's hilarious. Police. She is very bossy about her kitchen. The control of the food, the kitchen police. Well, they're frightened to go in there, aren't they? Frightened to go in there, frightened to touch anything. But, but, some of them now... I've got two because they've broke the rules. The twins, John T and Cara. Cara Louise. Cara Louise. And now in control of the food and the kitchen. Right, you know, no. No one, no one else can cook or clean. <laughs> they are in control of it all. Oh, wow. He's getting yeah. mad. Isn't yeah. 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 Get potty. I can hardly wait for our next BB update. It comes up at 8.35 and we do it every day. <laughs> yeah, well, you can. Right <laughs> here. Taking the mic. Time favourites. Time 106.6.